Prime Minister Modi has landed in Brussels. The visit is significant as there will be two separate visits and two separate summit meetings in the space of one day. Now, one is the Prime Minister's first bilateral summit meeting with Belgium and the second half would be the 13th India-EU summit meeting. Remember, Brussels is where the headquarters of the EU is situated, so the day promises to be an intense day of meetings and engagements for the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister's programme in Belgium covers all important strands of India's engagement with the country. From political and strategic, to parliament, trade and investment, science and technology, culture and the Indian community. The entire gamut of relations will be impacted. Brussels is the headquarter of European Union. India and the EU are the world's largest democratic entities. India shares a vibrant engagement with the Parliament of Belgium and the EU. The Prime Minister will interact with some European and Belgian members of the Parliament. On the cultural side, he will meet Indologists, people living in Belgium and close by who have a keen and abiding interest in India. Next will be the ceremonial welcome at Egmont Palace, where he will be received by the Belgian Prime Minister, Charles Michel. The two Prime Ministers will then have a restricted meeting where they will discuss bilateral issues and cooperation on global issues. This will be followed by a lunch meeting hosted by the Belgian Prime Minister, where Prime Minister Modi will interact with leading Belgian businessmen and CEOs, as well as the heads of the three federal regions of Belgium. On the agenda will be encouraging Belgian foreign direct investment to India and pushing Belgian participation in flagship initiatives like Make in India, Clean India and Digital India. This will be followed by a remote activation ceremony of the largest optical telescope of its kind in Asia, located at Devasthal near Nainital. This telescope is a product of the Indo-Belgian collaboration. Moving to trade and commerce, board members of the Association of Diamond Traders will call on Prime Minister Modi. India is Belgium's second largest export destination after the United States outside of the European Union. Most of this trade in diamonds. Later this evening, around 8, the Prime Minister will attend the 13th India-EU summit. This will be the first summit between the leaderships on both sides who took charge around the same time in May 2014. The India-EU bilateral summit started in the year 2000. In 2004, we established a strategic partnership. India is one of the 10 strategic partners that EU has today. The last summit was held in New Delhi in 2012. The EU continues to be global economic powerhouse as the biggest economy in the world with a GDP of 18 trillion US dollars. It is India's largest export destination and trading partner. The EU is also an influential player globally. Two of the permanent five members of the UN Security Council are EU countries. It is also a world leader in establishing global norms and industry standards. India aims at maximizing the benefits of this position that the EU enjoys. Prime Minister Modi will also interact with President Donald Tusk, who is the President of the European Council, and President Juncker, who is the head of the European Commission. The European Council is the political arm of the EU that brings together EU leaders to set the EU's political agenda. The European Commission is the EU's executive arm. This will be followed by the signing and exchange of agreements and a working delegation-level dinner where both sides will take stock of bilateral cooperation in a range of areas. At the summit-level meeting with Belgium, India will look to enhancing India-Belgium cooperation in areas of priority for India and areas of mutual interest such as counter-terrorism. The recent attacks in Brussels will be a very important part of the discussions. Belgium has a very sizable Indian diaspora of about 20,000 people. Body, body. Concluding his visit, Prime Minister Modi will interact with them at a community event in Brussels. Sudhir Yadav and Neerad Singh in Brussels for DD News.